What's up, dudes? Oh, man. All right. I was laying here, getting ready to go to sleep. And I started thinking about my abduction experience. I know, I don't, don't roll your eyes or nothing of that shit. I'm serious. I wanted to tell you guys about my alien abduction experience that I had happen to me about four years ago. <clears throat> Actually, it's probably closer to six years ago because I was still in Virginia at the time. Uh, uh, no kid, I'm, I'm serious. Okay. I, this was in the wintertime. I was sitting in my office. It was at the back of a hospital. It was like the lower portion of a hospital. And I was sitting in the office in the evening. It probably was like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. And I was sitting there playing Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I was doing some assassination mission that required me to be at an like a fortress that was on an island. I don't remember what it was, but I was about six and a half minutes into it when all of a sudden I like lost complete control of myself. I was just sitting there and I was hearing this noise, but it wasn't really a noise. It was like, it was, it was low frequency, like something like a dog or cat would hear but humans shouldn't be able to hear and I wasn't hearing it through my ears I was like hearing it directly in my head and all thoughts just stopped I lost control of all the functions of my body and I suddenly felt only one thought after the next in an order and it was instructions get up turn left take a step and it was like specific to like left step right step and it was like overly descriptive because they would want me to lift up left leg to uh, like bend it. it was like specific with muscles like muscle names that I don't even know the names of and it was walking me out the door and I couldn't think of anything else but I could feel not, not, not like feelings feel like not like on my skin feel because I had no feeling either but feelings all I remember feeling was confusion, bat bewilderment, and absolute terror all mixed together, like just just swirling around. I, I, I couldn't figure out what was going on. And it just kept pulling me out the door like I was some sort of string puppet being strung along and literally just doing as, as I'm told until I was outside. And I was just standing there. And all of a sudden, I just, I didn't see any lights. Everything went sort of a pale gray all around me, like everything lost its color. And this was at night. The sky itself turned a palish gray. Everything turned a palish gray. And all I could feel was like this beam of energy. It wasn't even, it wasn't really energy. It was just vibration. And, and all my thoughts just stopped. The command stopped. My feeling stopped. Everything was frozen. My eyes were open and I was looking up at the sky. And, and everything was frozen. And all that I sensed, all that I felt, everything, everything I saw was all being compressed down. Like I was experiencing it, but at the same time being, like time was frozen is the best way to explain it. But I was still experiencing time at a normal rate, but it was all being compressed into a single moment. And it just kept going that way. And and I couldn't remember anything until I was back suddenly at my computer desk. And that entire moment's worth of time just flashed right through my head and hit, happened as if it was like in an instant. And all I remember was I was pulled up into a room. There was nothing. I wouldn't even know if it was a room because it seemed like it was just endless. It was pure darkness and completely devoid of sound and 
any way. I didn't see any beings. I didn't see any aliens. I didn't see any medical instruments or anything of that nature. All I heard were just deeps, different sorts of deeps in, in different kinds of sounds, but they were always short, like they were just pulses of a, of a sound, of a frequency. And this felt like it just went on for hours and hours, but I couldn't remember anything, any of it as it was happening. It was all happening and I could see it all happening, but it, it was just all compressed into an instant. So I wasn't experiencing it. I don't even, I don't know how to explain it, like consciously. And then that's all that happened. There was a red and green light that would occasionally uh, flash in different random areas in the, in the space void, I guess you could call it. Even the ground I was on didn't seem to actually be there. Like, I could feel myself standing on something, but you couldn't see that you were standing on anything. Now, when I got back, or when I became instantly aware of what happened I looked down at my computer because I was sitting back in front of it just suddenly there again I looked down at the game I was confused I was terrified and I remember looking down at the game and the mission I was on was at 22 minutes so I had lost some time and to this day it terrified me and so I had to go and get Ryan. Okay. And it was at 22 minutes. I had lost some time. And I was just, I had to call Ryan. I'd never told anybody about this, by the way. I had to call Ryan, his buddy of mine. He uh, came down, picked me up, took me back to my place because I refused to walk. Because <clears throat> at that point, I was, yeah. And uh, shortly thereafter, I moved my uh, business location to a little bit more public location. I'll tell you that much. Uh, a little less uh, secluded because this was kind of it was a little secluded where my office was it was at the back lower side of a hospital or what sort of a hospital it was meant to be a hospital yeah I guess it is a hospital uh, yeah so that's the first and only experience with an alien abduction I ever had, but it's not the first time that I've ever seen a UFO. At one time, I didn't really see the UFO in that experience. I didn't see anybody. But one time, I was in boot camp, and, uh, <laughs> and I was sitting there waiting to go to chow, standing there. And off to the left, up in the sky, I see this. This is outside of uh, Pahrump, Nevada, ironically. Uh, I see this craft just shiny in the sky. And it was really far away, but it was just sitting there. Couldn't make it out. It just looked like a giant mirror was in the sky. But it was just sitting there. And I, we were standing there for a good three or four minutes. Uh, and it just sat there and I couldn't say or do anything because I was in boot camp. What do you think would happen? Uh, but it just kept sitting there. And then I, I had to, the drill instructor was coming near me and I had to look forward and I looked forward and then looked back over there and it had disappeared. It was big enough that you would definitely not think it was just a, uh, 
the dot on your eye kind of thing. It was probably, <clears throat> I don't know, from my sight, I would say it was it was as large as the tip of a pin from distance-wise. So you wouldn't really be able to make it out, but you'd be able to speed. It's big enough to make sure to know that it's not, you know. Anyways, thanks for for listening to that. <laughs> Later, guys.